Right, welcome to this advanced tactica for the Blood Angels Bow Predator. Uh, really excited about this one. I've got the new unit and then uh, I put it together and I thought, no, I've just got to paint it. So I've just gone ahead and painted it up uh, here. It's finished. Uh, I get a closer look at it in just a moment. Uh, it is a new unit. I've never used one before, uh, but now in 8th edition, I think it's a lot better than it was. So I'm quite a bargain actually in points, which we'll have a look at uh, when we come uh, to the unit stats as well. So uh, in this video we'll zoom in on this particular unit, we'll check out loadout upgrades and options you can take, some talk some tactica about it as well uh, and then we'll actually roll up some dice and test out the firepower uh, this tank has to offer. So here it is, it's finished, really uh, happy with how it's come out here about Predator. I'm going to zoom in here so you can take a closer look uh, but just very very happy uh, to have another uh, Blood Angels tank added to the force here. So there it is. So I added some battle damage to this one. You see these uh, bullet holes, that's just using a drill and just spinning around uh, and then taking out chunks of the plastic. Uh, not in a straight line, James told me not to do them in a straight line, it's too uh, cheesy. You just have to have them sort of randomly placed like that and then just chipping them up with the paint. It's quite happy, some scrapes and some battle damage. Uh, just there you can see, just take the turret off. See the exhausts blowing back this way, like that. Some mud and some uh, dirt flicked up here as well. Some more battle damage across there. And then just some puddles uh, of sort of oil and, and grime uh, dotted about as well. I didn't want them factory fresh red. I uh, wanted this sort of chipped up effect. There's the heavy bolters on the side, nice big purity seal. Uh, there as well and then in with the kit you get a number of these uh, plates here uh, sort of Blood Angels style motifs and that one I've just stuck on the front like so so there it is then uh, there's the turret and that's all the upgrades I'm taking you've got Storm Bolter on there Hunter Killer Missile on top and then a, a Blood Angels Marine uh, just looking uh, out there as well outside of the hatch you've got Twin Assault Cannon that uh, is the upgrade I've gone for on there as well beautiful tank uh, iconic for the Blood Angels, there's no other chapter that can take one of these things. Um, so Bow Predator is pretty, pretty good. Alright, so we're going to take a look at it now in the rules. So, uh, I do plan on making an advanced or in-depth painting tutorial for, uh, for the channel for Blood Angels. So it'll be, I think it'll be one of those vehicles. Uh, so if you're into collecting Blood Angels, there is the regular painting tutorial. Uh, for Blood Angels on the regular channel and then uh, just to help everyone out for bigger projects, tougher projects, and then covering things like vehicles and so on. Uh, I'll do an in-depth, plan to do an in-depth painting tutorial here on the Plus channel as well just to guide you through something that's bigger uh, and a harder project to take on. So Blood Angels have struggled, they've had some early games in 8th edition and then they've been struggling so I've revamped, you know, I've got a new list here uh, just of some help and feedback from the uh, uh, battle reports coming through, uh, so people leaving comments and so on there, and obviously the army development video as well. Change the list around, Battle Predator is one of the units that's going to feature uh, here. So we'll take a look at it just here. So it is in the Blood Angels section. The, they're going to have their own codex, uh, no doubt, soon, but I don't think the rules really going to change very much, so we're just going to take it here from the index. Uh, for now, maybe some points changes. I doubt it, but they might have some points changes. Just there. Here it is. It's the Bow Predator. Just here. So, uh, it's power level 8. We'll just get an exact points cost for it here. Just to give you an idea. What we're looking at. So, uh, Bow Predator starts at 107 points. For that you get... Uh, you start on uh, here... Uh, movement 12, this is at your full strength, 3 plus ballistic skill, it's nice and quick vehicles now, um, and then uh, 3 attacks but it's 6 is to hit, so it's not a, combat's not going to be uh, anything to, uh, it's not going to be a strength. Uh, then uh, the strength 6, toughness 7, 11 wounds, sort of standard for a, a sort of a space marine tank, leadership 8 and a 3 up save, um, so durable enough. Then Weapons configuration, right, so Flame Storm Cannon is quite nasty, it is strength 6, AP minus 2 and it's 2 points of damage a time. That's good, but that's if you roll uh, well with your Assault, it's Assault D6. So, 
you're all a one and it's horrendous you know, the opportunity to hit um, I think flame weapons were some will disagree but I think they were better in 7th edition you could place that tempo especially with um, things that had the torrent special where you measured 12 and then you could place the template real nice range on it and then you could position it to cover loads of models but here you know you could be firing a mob of 30 old boys and potentially you could just hit one of them so for that reason just can't see the flame storm cannon just just unreliable sometimes it'd be brilliant you roll that six and you get six hits it's great other times you roll a one uh, and it's terrible so and the range is eight it's just too scary i think for a vehicle the, the tacticrum developing for this force this will be part of the the army that starts on the board and range will be important i don't want these getting caught out in combat um, and destroyed uh, and getting up too close to the opponent and then besides, if they, if they do get up close, you've got a weapon that's not very reliable, it's a D6. Um, and if you send it in, you want it to, do, to be reliable to do something. So I've, instead I've gone for the Twin Assault Cannon. Uh, it's, mate, it would have been the other way around in 7th edition. I would have gone for the Flamestorm Cannon in, I reckon, in 7th. But now I go for the Twin Assault Cannon here in 8th. It's heavy 12, no, not heavy 6 re-rolling. It's heavy 12. On average, you're going to get 8 hits. Fantastic weapon, range 24, strength 6, it is AP minus 1, that's really helpful, even Terminator's going to get saves knocked down on there, and then 1 damage, just that ability there is really good. Now it's heavy 12, so you've got to bear in mind if he moves, he's going to be a minus 1 to hit, so it's kind of a, in, in the game, I'm going to park him somewhere, advance maybe, park him up, and then ideally just hold position and just fire everything, and just uh, knock units down, just grind them down. Then uh, that costs twin assault cannon. We'll just get some costs here. So space marine data sheet. You have to go to for this one. Just looking it up here. I almost thought you got it for free, but no, you have to pay for it. Twin assault cannon. Thirty-five points. You add that on. It's one hundred forty-two points. And then I take the heavy bolters, which is uh, da, 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 heavy bolters, 10 points a time, so it's 162 points for that. Still not bad, it's not worth, well under 200 points. Uh, and then for those heavy bolters, there's two of them, so you actually going to get one of them is range 36, heavy 3, uh, strength 5, again it's AP minus 1, very, very, that AP minus 1 is very, very helpful. Um, and even space rings in cover, two up save, knocks them back down to three up. Very, very helpful indeed. And that's, you're going to get two of them, it's one on each side, so six shots in total there. Add that to the 12, you've got a vehicle that's chucking out 18 shots here. Yeah, pretty good. So, uh, now we're on to FAQ. So I've been told uh, you can take a Storm Bolter, which you have to pay for. I think it's two points, yes, which I've modelled mine. According to FAQ now you can take that. When the codex comes out, no doubt they'll have that updated. Uh, and then also uh, it can take the Hunter Killer Missile, which is an absolute bargain, I think, at six points. It's not listed on here. So just looking at the Hunter Killer Missile here. It's range 48, heavy one. You have three, three up chance of hitting. This you know, two thirds of a chance of getting that hit, which is pretty good for six points. Strength eight, you're going to win most vehicles on a three plus add, and then it's AP minus two for the save. So a vehicle with three up saves can drop to a five up saves, there's a good chance you're going to get through. And then once you're through, it is D6 points of damage. And for six points, the potential there caused a lot of trouble. So, um, the ability to split fire and so on now, you can imagine this vehicle moving up, uh, it's holding position, it's firing at a softer target with its. Uh, shooty machine gun weapons here, assault cannon, uh, heavy bolter, and then to like maybe to assist another vehicle it can send off the missile in another direction to fire a different target. So there's that kind of flexibility there. So uh, just some rules then, it does come with smoke launchers and then Overcharged engines, which just comes with now, you don't have to pay for it. When this model advances, roll two dice and pick the highest, which is a minor bonus there. Nothing too much there. But I, I think 
it is pretty good. So what we'll do, that's the configuration I've gone for. Yeah, so you 162 points, uh, then you pay two for the Storm Bolter, that's six for that, so that's 170 points in total. Again, nicely below 200 points, and you've got a tank there bristling with firepower, uh, pretty well protected. The, the swap that I've gone for in the list is dropping the Assault Marines, which work out about 160 odd, uh, 170 odd points. So I'm actually swapping it for this. I think this is more durable than the Marines. Um, you know, 10 wounds uh, with 3 plus. This has 11 wounds with 3 plus, but this is toughness 7, their toughness 4. So you can sort of get an idea of, of that. And the firepower from this is, is, is way, way more uh, than the Assault Marines can offer. Combat, they're quite tame anyway, you know, sort of 20 attacks. You know, chop through some stuff, but I, I think th th this could do more damage if it's shooting uh, than the Assault Marines can do in close combat. So that's at least the idea behind that. Uh, just there. So what we'll do is, I've got a few scenarios lined up here, we'll test the firepower of this thing, see how effective it can be. Alright, so we've got a few scenarios lined up here. This is kind of the prime kind of target. Got a big unit here of 12 Fire Warriors. Um, I've got other vehicles like the Battle Predator, that's, that's firing at different heavier targets like vehicles, uh, battle suits perhaps in this situation, um, you know, uh, Riptide, Storm Surge, that kind of thing. Uh, but for this one, its job is to hunt down prime targets like this. So, great thing uh, about the tank as well is that you have to get within any kind of rapid fire range. You can set this, as long as you get within 24, uh, then you're fine. So that's good. I don't have to get too close to your opponent to get within 12 to, to fire more effectively. I'm firing at full effect at 24 inches uh, just there. So that's a nice healthy distance as far as charge ranges and, and so on is concerned. So we'll say it fires a hunter killer missile, save it or send it off to fire at a totally different target. So twin assault cannon, first of all. We'll do one round, uh, say we've moved. So this is going to be at, not as effective. And then we'll do one stationary as well, just to give an idea. So fours are after, just there, but still. It's come through. Now this is strength six of the twin assault cannons. They're on twos to wound. So this is a good start here. Yeah, six saves of five plus. Pass one. Okay, so almost half that unit. So five fire warriors killed from that. It's doing its job here. Uh, then we're on the heavy bolters. These are threes to wound, which they all wound. Uh, fives to save these. Triple six, very good, but another one of those brought down. And then Storm Bolter, yes, within 12 you can go for that. Or say we're not, say we're holding our ground, so just a couple of shots here from the Storm Bolter. It's a hit and a wound, a four up save, that one is saved. So there's some incentive to get a bit closer to the Storm Bolter, but really uh, to operate at 24 inches uh, is good. And nice and healthy, it keeps you away from trouble. So we've seen that with half that squad. Not expecting this thing to work miracles, but just that grinding progress. Uh, process down on the opponent um, and you, you've seen there that's pretty good that's 60 points is killed so it's starting to redeem its points quite quickly if these fire back if this was assault marines here and these fire back you're going to start dropping marines but there's these firing back against that um, I don't think they're going to be too effective well in fact I'll do what we'll do why not let's say they do let's say they move here, yeah, so uh, five warriors here with uh, six, 12 shots. Fours to hit. It's good shooting, not too bad. Five to wound. Two wounds come through, and then that three up saves. Foul, foul two. Okay, it's two wounds taken. But that's fine. I mean, it's going to absorb that damage, no problem at all. We'll now fire it stationary, see if we can finish these uh, fire warriors off. So twin assault cannon, just love tons of shots here. I think it's great. Um, so freeze to hit. Here, remaining stationary. Who's to wound. And then fives to save. None. So that's blown a chunk out of them. Storm Bolter now is actually going to be four shots. They all hit. It's helpful. Freeze to wound. 
Yep, failed. So storm bolters finished them off. Okay, so wipe out and then heavy bolters were spare at the end. See that? That's two turns there. It's ground a whole squad down. Um, that's 120 odd points there, uh, just clearing the path. See, I've got a nice bit of heavy firepower available for the Blood Angels, and dealing with infantry and hordes uh, was one of the areas uh, that I was worried about. I had a lot of las cannons and then not much else. So, this is the, the value here of the Power Predator, able to pick on targets uh, just like that, very helpful indeed. Right, so then we've got a situation uh, against something like this. Even this can come in quite handy. Um, so there's multiple tactics you can go for. For example, uh, you could team up with uh, Predator Annihilator, use this thing first, so the drones count as a separate unit, use this thing first to fire its weapons to take away uh, the drones, and then let the Predator come in uh, and fire across, hitting it with lights cannons with no drone protection. That kind of coordination, I want uh, the Bow Predator and the regular Predator Annihilator to work together. Uh, to protect each other and then to gang up on, on different targets as well. So that's sort of another uh, idea there. But we'll test this. Remember it's got the Hunter Killer uh, missile, could cause a bit of trouble here. And then it is AP minus one a lot of these weapons. So even this two up save here is a little bit vulnerable against that kind of firepower coming through. So what I'm going to declare here, you have to declare where you're shooting, is we'll go, uh, we'll go for, Difficult. I'm going to go for a heavy bolter. Yeah, heavy one heavy bolter and the storm bolter. It's in rapid fire at the drones. The other heavy bolter, twin twin uh, assault cannon, and the hunter killer missile at him. So and then it matters on the order here. This is quite important the way you play this if you're sort of getting used to the rules here for eighth edition. Uh, is you declare all your shooting, but be careful of sort of the order that you do things. And then think carefully about how you're going to allocate your shooting. There's a chance here to do real damage to both of these targets. So uh, let's say that we've remained stationary. One heavy bolter, need freeze to hit here. So we've hit with two, and that's what you'd expect. Uh, freeze to wound, one wound coming through, five up save. No, all right, so one drone gone. Storm Bolter. Maybe should have put both heavy bolters in. But Storm Bolter's got three hits. It's got one wound and then four up save. No, just about. That was risky uh, to do that. So then that frees up uh, another heavy bolter to go after him. Getting one hit and does cause a wound. Three up save. Passed. Uh, then the twin assault cannon. On a really good round, you stand some chance. Depends on the hunter killer, uh, but we'll just fire the twin assault cannon here. So, not bad. Just you throw so many dice, you're sort of averaging uh, those kind of hits. And then freeze to wound here, it's toughness five. So, quite poor. Free up save. That was a six there, but that's the result we're looking for. Two wounds caused uh, on there, so four wounds remaining. Uh, and then Remember, this is with no help from any other kind of units. This is standing up by itself, taking on even these kind of targets here. Hunter Killer Missile does get the hit. Come on, does get the wound. Uh, four up save. Fail, this is textbook here, it's going well. Four, <laughs> four wounds, target destroyed. So, doesn't always work that way. You see there's a number of dice rolls to get through. You need your free to hit, your free to wound then it's the armor so that was tough but at times that kind of thing happens much to the uh, annoyance of your opponent and a bow predator just with a hunter killer helping out uh, even brings down something as tough as one of these and this here this is 230 odd points here and the humble bow predator uh, has managed to bring it down so see the value there of the hunter killer missile just for six points that's potentially really going to help steer your army to victory just with that little six point upgrade. Storm Bolts came in handy as well, just a little bit of extra firepower. I mean, the philosophy really is if you're going to pay out the points for the vehicle, uh, pay out all of those points, you might as well just pay a few more just to kit it out uh, and just to give yourself that much uh, more shooting availability from it. So that's the advanced tactic then uh, for the Bow Predator. You've seen there a pretty impressive exhibition of firepower uh, from this thing. Really glad to be painting out new Blood Angels units. Very, very exciting time at the moment. Very excited about this new list. Uh, people were saying, I don't want to talk about too much, but uh, people were sort of saying it doesn't, the previous, the list at the moment doesn't really work well together, doesn't really gel. 
uh, units just doing their own thing. That's been dealt with, I think, in this new list. You'll see a lot of units working, the whole army working together. You'll see a very strong theme, a strong plan, an overall battle plan. Uh, and I think the tactics for it should work pretty good, but we'll have to see. But very, very impressed with the battle prototype. Very happy with how it's turned out. Uh, you may see an in-depth painting tutorial for a battle prototype because I may well be getting a second one of these. The plan is to get a second one of these uh, for this new list that's being developed. So imagine two of these working together in a pair, uh, just ganging up on units, hosing them down, and then providing covering fire, fire support uh, for the other Blood Angels. Uh, vehicles as well. But there it is, that's the Battle Predator. Leave your uh, comments and feedback. If you use these effectively, um, then uh, leave that in the comments below. Other people can see uh, what you've uh, written about there. Uh, and then different combinations. Maybe you disagree with this combination, you've had success with others. Um, I can see the ins one big incentive to take the, the Flame Storm and then two Heavy Flamers at the sides is you can drive up close, and if you get charged in combat, you've got a nice lot of Overwatch uh, potential there, so that is an option. Uh, that is available. But leave your comments and feedback. Keep a look out for the new uh, Blood Angels Force on the way. There's some more advanced tactica planning for them as well as this army is being redeveloped uh, hopefully quite quickly and a new list coming out as soon as possible. It's good to see Blood Angels do well. Bow Predator has been added uh, to the armory for them. There it is. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.